coastal blue carbon practices can expand and improve the health of coastal ecosystems, including mangroves, tidal salt marshes, and seagrass meadows. Coastal blue carbon is stored within the soil, the living biomass above and below ground, and the non-living biomass in these ecosystems. Like carbon stored in land-based ecosystems, coastal blue carbon is sequestered in living plant biomass for relatively short periods of time, from years to decades. But unlike terrestrial ecosystems, carbon sequestered into coastal soils can be extensive and remain trapped for longer periods of time, from centuries to millennia. In the U.S., coastal blue carbon practices could contribute to sequestering 5.4 gigatons of carbon dioxide by 2100. Around the world, avoiding damage to coastal ecosystems combined with restoring them could remove 2.4 to 4.5 gigatons annually by 2030. Project costs range from $240 to $30,000 per ton of carbon dioxide, with mangroves being the least expensive to finance. To ensure that coastal blue carbon projects are carried out equitably, it's important to include the perspectives of all stakeholders in the decision-making process. Distribute the co-benefits and burdens of projects equitably, mobilize financing from those who have contributed the most to climate change, and promote structural changes that safeguard these vital ecosystems and the communities that depend on them. Coastal blue carbon practices deliver co-benefits to communities on the front lines of climate change and foster biodiversity in the ocean. While the scale of these solutions may be small, they're an important part of a comprehensive climate restoration plan that can be implemented around the globe.